Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. Well, if you've been following along with this channel for any time at all, you know a couple things. One is every week I like to look into the Word of God for some encouragement and some inspiration. And the second thing is I have to get out of my office and away from my life a little bit and take a hike in the woods each week. And this is no exception. It is rainy and snowy. I don't know if you're picking that up on the camera. However, it is also absolutely beautiful. Well, last week we talked a little bit about New Year's resolutions, and this week my mind is still kind of in that mode. But it reminds me of a story that happened to me just about a week ago. My family and I, we were leaving um, this recreation center, and as we were leaving, there was a man passed out on the sidewalk. And my wife immediately said, who, who is that? Uh, because it was in the neighborhood that I work, and I deal with a lot of men and women who are struggling with addiction. And so I got down on my hands and knees and I looked and I didn't recognize I said yeah not one of mine I don't know who that is and I started to walk away uh, immediately my wife said what are you doing you obviously have to help your office is right down the street this man clearly is inebriated and I, I, I was shocked that I that my first response was this is not my problem not my business we go back and we uh, kind of try to figure out who he is and the, the people who run the shop they came out and they were calling 911 wanted to get him some medical help and so I wound up not actually getting much deeper in the story but that idea that I struggled with is this my problem or is this someone else's problem uh, really struck with me and it brought me around to Ephesians chapter 2 and it may take you a minute to understand why these two stories go together but if you stick with me you'll catch it Ephesians chapter 2 says this you were dead in your trespasses and sins in which you formerly walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air of the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience among them we too formerly lived in the lusts of our flesh indulging the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by nature children of wrath even as the rest but God being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in our transgressions made us alive in Christ by grace you've been saved and raised up with him and seated with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus so that in the age to come he might show the surpassing riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus you see reading through where I've been spiritually and where God has taken me it is very easy for me to see myself in anyone's life no matter what their hurt no matter what their hang-up is no matter what their particular sin is but by the grace of God there go I and so this should fill me with compassion now the second thing I want to point out is if we're doing this if we realize our position in Christ we also realize that he's doing something very particular in us something that's actually of great value not because of our strength but because God wants to do it if you continue on in verse 8 with me you'll see for by grace you've been saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not as a result of works so that anyone may boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them Two things from this section the first of which is our salvation comes via faith not anything else just belief and so because of that we you and I are God's workmanship not our own not something we're developing ourselves God's workmanship we're a thing that he is doing on top of that all of the works that we're gonna do all of those righteous acts that we feel so proud of, they were prepared by God beforehand. So I wanna encourage you in 2020 to be very careful not to take credit for your good deeds, but let God work through you. Be his workmanship this year. Well, God bless. I hope this has been as encouraging to you as it has been to me. I'll see you right back here next week. Be encouraged.